Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to KBN Live. Um, I am Jeff Malott. We got Ryan Lambert down there in the parking lot, walking across to a hotel on the beach. And uh, we are proud to welcome the St. Clair Slayer himself, Eric yeah. Siddiqui, up there in Canada. We've been struggling to get a little signal for oh, a little bit, about 20 minutes. So now that we've got this going, uh, bear with us, and, and hopefully Eric can maintain up there, and we can uh, pick his brain about what's happening in, in Canada. Uh, Eric, thanks for jumping on here with us, buddy. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for having me. So while Ryan's getting settled there, I've been watching all week. Everybody on social media has been watching all week. It seems like it's been an absolute uh, smash fest pre-fishing on, on St. Clair. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, it's pretty easy. <laughs> it's just going to come down to who can find those ones that are a little bit better. It's, uh, you could, you could throw just about anything and catch them. I think this is the way it's been. You no, know, uh, Christy was just trying some crazy stuff the other day, just to see if it would work and she was still catching them. So, <clears throat> or Christine. So. Well, that, that, that's wild. Is it so, uh matter where you're at? U S side, Canada side, we'll just, happens. it's going to take, I've got them everywhere I've been. I think it could be one anywhere on this lake. It just, anybody could get on a, on an, good enough area to win it i think anywhere now you were just up there last week for is it the ontario ontario uh kayak bass club that had an event that i mean you, i put uh, up 100 inches in a day uh on the america two weeks ago so yeah i've mostly been fishing uh canadian side since i've been here but you can win it anywhere I got you. And it seemed like last week during that tournament, those Ontario guys had, it took, I think, 20 people uh, had 90 inches or above, and you had to have at least that to get in the top 10 or top 20. Right. And, and what happened right. What what happened up yeah. there with you? I know you were uh, second place and then ended up being dropping down just a little bit. It was kind of a wild story there. Yeah. I, right. Well, I, uh, I came in second. And then I got a call uh, a couple days later from the tournament director, and he, he said uh, that they decided that my 20-inch fish was the same fish. So uh, <clears throat> I cut it three hours apart, and uh, I guess he sent it to a bunch of people, and they all pretty much decided the same thing. So I looked at it and looked pretty much the same to me. But, I mean, at the time, all these smallmouth looked pretty close anyway. So. Right. But Caught off luckily the same... for me, Chris, Scene was I hear that right, happens. right next to me. What's that? Yeah, right. Yeah. I, said, I hear that happens. Occasionally. Honestly, I don't think you should be penalized for catching the same fish. I think you should probably, you know, get some kind of bonus because you must be really good if you're catching the same fish <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> if you check that fish twice, what do you think, Ryan? I don't know. I mean, I don't know how, I don't know if there's, an, you know, there's no way to prevent it from happening as an angler. Like it's hard to identify, you know, when you're catching fish, like, <laughs> like, you know, if you catch three or four fish, like, Oh, well maybe that one was the same. Yeah. I mean, no, it doesn't yeah, even cross from mind. And send it in. I just, I just <laughs> wish that the judging process were a little more real time. That way you have some kind of idea, um, you know, during the tournament. Like, I don't yeah. <clears throat> we dropped him. He's down there on the beach with the bad weather. He's coming back in, though. There he is. What happened? I don't know. We dropped you for a second, but you're back. You're back with us. <clears throat> um, so yeah, it happens so rarely. You don't even think about it when you're fishing. So, uh, yeah, it's up to the, you know, people judging the fish to let you know, if, hopefully sooner rather than later that, you know, if you have one, because I let some, I released some fish that could have helped, but. What do you guys think best practice on that would be to just deny it the first time around and then look at it again later to give the angler a chance to, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, two the same length. during the tournament. <clears throat> yeah. 
at least let the angler know that it's a possibility so that they could, you know, take pictures of any fish that might help them. Right. If it ends up going that way. Yeah. Cause yeah. I know that really hurt Ryan down there, uh, wherever that was, you had a few more fish that could have helped you, but you never took a picture. But, uh, right. And yeah. that's a whole other issue we can get off on. I know we've talked about that before, but we want to really talk about this Hobie event on St. Clair that's coming up. Um, uh, before we jump live, Eric, you were saying it should take 195 to get it done. 190, I think, will do it. 195 inches a day. Should do I, got, it. I got you. And then, like you're saying, sounds like anything you guys are throwing that is is going to work. What's your what's your kind of favorite way to to target those? Because you've had success there. I mean, look, looking at your record, I know Ryan. We published that article the other day. You've had a lot of success up there. Do you go back to doing the same thing every time, or you have a variety you throw at them? I do uh, different th things. The area that I fished uh, two years ago when it came to second out here, um, it uh, I was throwing a net rig and crushed them on it. And then last year I fished the same area and there was a lot more moss, some kind of mossy stuff on the bottom that kept getting on the net rig. So then I started throwing, you know, small swim baits and um, drop shot and stuff like that over there. Um, <clears throat> But uh, probably my favorite way to cast and is uh, two again a lot of times when you're, I mean, I don't know, you catch, I've caught big ones on everything out here, so it's hard to say, but. Ripping a but tube? Like tube kind of lost you for a second yeah. there. Did you say Anything ripping a tube? like a jig. Yeah, yeah, tube. I got you. Tube's fun to catch them on. Anything that's like a jig, the jig's my favorite, so anything that's like a jig is good for me. That's why I like the net rig. It's like a little jig. So for those small ones, are you throwing a big football jig or some kind of round ball head finesse jig, or what are you doing up there? Not to get too too bad too deep into your secrets, bag of tricks. Um, when I won it on Table Rock, was when I won it on Table Rock, I was throwing a big three quarter ounce football jig. But these fish up here have small mouths; they want smaller baits. So I uh, I stay pretty small, um, like. Uh, I don't go bigger than four and a half, even on some um, throwing a drop shot, you know, any right. kind of bait. I don't go any longer than that, any bigger. Weights, depends on the current mostly. Well, I've never made it up there. I know Ryan's been up there a couple times. Uh, it's on my bucket list. And especially, you know, these last few weeks, all the pictures that have been flying all over Instagram and Facebook and everything else. I mean, my God, who would want to, who wouldn't want to come up there? Up here. It's unbelievable. This lake's fishing better than any lake in the country. I mean, you know, I, I travel everywhere, everywhere I've been, you know, of everywhere I've been, this, this place is fishing, especially right now, better than anywhere. What's the so deal? Are they, are they post-spawn up there or, I mean, what's going on? They're kind of a little bit, I've, I've caught them off beds actually, um, surprisingly, but, uh, a lot of those bigger females are post-spawn, I think. <clears throat> But you catch them shallow, you catch them deep. They're kind of all spread out right now, which is kind of frustrating. You can't really uh, pinpoint them. They're not, you know, holding on anything specific. So they're kind of cruising around, trying to feed back up, I think. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, Rich. Everybody's going to catch them. I know that much. Old uh, Rich Shrekin Ghost on the comments said he, you know, on tournament day they may all shut down, but it doesn't sound like that's the deal. It sounds like they're going to be chewing. Yeah, I mean, you see what happens here on tournament day. It doesn't shut down like a lot of places do. No, no. Twenty, like said, up, 20 uh, people putting up ninety plus and stuff like that. Yeah, that's last problem. week when I saw that, I think I saw Christine's total and thought, oh, she cashed another check. Look at her. And then uh, got to scrolling through there and thought, well, dang, it only got her 18th or 17th, whatever it was. Right. That's a that's a straight shootout. Right. I was looking at it. I think it was the uh, 13th place had 93 and a half or something like that. It's crazy. Yeah, that's insane. Everybody catching footballs. And you weren't Those even allowed to fish the American side. <clears throat> you weren't even allowed to fish the American side for that. It was all Canada side. Really? So, yeah. How do they pol how do they police that? What's that? How do they police that GPS or what? I don't know. 
<laughs> Border little... Patrol. They got ice. <laughs> they got ice up there. There's they can no be on the wrong side. There's American side, so it didn't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they decide who was. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they can see. The I guess uh, the Canadian fish have different markings. Right. Ah, they're the other direction. They go sideways or something. <laughs> yeah, it's sideways. You've heard that rumor. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> they're socialist socialist fish. Every fish you catch, you got to give one to somebody else. Is that how the ninety inch thing happens? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. You didn't see that picture of those four kayaks tied up together? Yeah, that was wild. I shared that earlier. <laughs> it's a fish sharing fish sharing operation. Yeah. So yeah, you don't have to share them here. They're planning to go around. It's ridiculous. Um, so Eric, you fished yeah, a couple of Hobie much. events now. What do you uh, what do you think of the Hobie deal and how they have this thing going and set up? <clears throat> What's that? I said you fished a couple or at least one other BOS event. You fished uh, Kentucky Lake. Uh, what do you think of what Hobie has going and, uh, you know, this this tournament series they've started? Yeah, it's great. I mean, AJ runs a great tournament. He always has. So, you know, when he, he's running a tournament, it's going to be uh, ran right. So it's always a good time. Um, I think they got some pretty big things coming. I've heard some, some rumors about where uh, some tournaments are going to be moved next year. I'm pretty excited about <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, I think the payouts are pretty good. And hope, hopefully we can start getting some more people coming to them. I don't know. I felt like everybody I talked to this whole year said they were coming to this one, and then everybody bailed last minute. Yeah. The schedule's been so tight this hopefully summer. Hopefully some of those guys change their mind <laughs> and come on back up here. There's a, there's a lot of tournaments uh, this time of year, man. The schedule gets tight, so I don't know, you know how people choose where they go or what, but it sounds like uh, yeah. all of us that didn't choose this one messed up. Right, right, right. I, I mean, I've, I've told everybody all here, it's amazing. You need to come up here. And uh, I thought, um, really, just about everybody I talked to said that they were going to come or try to come. So I was expecting this one to hit at least 150. <clears throat> What's the name right now? Said, I haven't signed up yet. So maybe there's a bunch of people who haven't signed up yet. You know. Everybody's waiting on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the number is. Do y'all know what the number is right now? I haven't looked in a while. Yeah. Somebody on this stream, click on there and so post what, the number. These mosquitoes in the out here in Canada are no joke either. Yeah, they big. Yeah, they are. I had one biting me through. Like I had two shirts on the other, the other night and sat in the truck and had a mosquito biting me through my two shirts. That's big wild. Canadian mosquitoes. <laughs> No joke. I was getting attacked. I thought I, I thought I was getting stung by bees when I got off the water the other night. They have to eat a lot because they only get to be alive like three months a year. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know fishing's fire up there. Uh, we can we can look at Another some comments. I'm out here. Uh, uh, day two last year, that mayfly hatch really kind of screwed things up. Made that bite really tough. I had to grind it out. I didn't get that last fish that wanted for me until. Uh, five minutes left in the tournament. So, as much uh, winning as you've wonder, done up there, wonder how close. How much? How close do you think it's going to be this year? I think he's breaking up on us, Ryan. Did I break up there? A little bit, yeah. Did you hear what Ryan asked Emma. you? Ryan's Yeah, I don't know. We're down here. We're trying to fish with uh, Brandon Barton tonight. And, of course, like a big freaking storm cell blows up as soon as we're getting ready to unload the kayak. So we're kind of sitting down here trying to wait this weather out and go get on some redfish. Yeah, I think it's affecting your signal a little bit. I know uh, Eric's up there Hopefully in Canada. it works <clears> out. <throat> yeah. You guys hear me all right? Yeah, a little bit. It's, it's freezing every now and then. But, like I said, I think the uh, – signal up there's a little choppy so and same thing for ryan with that weather coming in we ain't gonna blame arkansas's internet yeah, this time it is, boys it's... <laughs> on my end i can actually see and hear eric pretty clear the whole time <laughs> it's the it's that arkansas yeah. connection i'm having trouble with 
Damn it. Come on, Ryan. <laughs> um, Sorry. Sorry, man. So you guys want to get into some so of the stuff we've seen this week on the page I mean, before how we... How far uh, of a separation do you think it's going to be? Did you hear uh, that, Eric? How far the separation do you think is going to be between the winners? In time. Is it what? Oh, <laughs> oh, it's going to be a close one. I don't think anybody's going to run away with it. It could happen, but I think it's going to be – it's going to come down to quarter inches. I mean, I tied uh, Rob Beginski last year. Who? Uh, uh, Beginski. Is he related yeah. to McKinstry? No, he isn't. That I know of. All right. But I tied him last year and won with Big Bass. So, and the year before, uh, I was second. He was third. Um, um, another American was first. Hef- Hefner, Craig Hefner, was first. So, uh, and it was maybe I don't know, kind of been more than an inch, two inches separating the three of us. So, I don't know. It's it's going to be real close. Have you tried snagging any of those fish off bed with a treble hook by chance? Crickets. You don't have to snag them. You get a, you get a bed and they're a twist tail white, twist tail grub with the treble. So Might have to give that a shot. It looked like Fair it worked enough. pretty well. Oh, yeah, apparently. What do you all think about all that? I know it's been beat to death this week, but 